Hi, Tom Wallace, Carbide Processors. I want to talk about this, which is a flint cup, a spark lighter, a spark cup, a torch lighter, whatever. First, these are made to be used left-handed. I use it right-handed because I hold the torch in my left hand because when I'm brazing, I have a pokey stick in this hand and I want to be able, this is my dominant hand, I'm better with it. So I hold the heat source in this hand and use the pokey stick to move the parts or make sure they don't move. But these are made to be used left-handed because welders hold the torch in their right hand. I learned, learned to use one of these 50 years, oh God, I'm 48 years ago, when they said, hey, kid, go get that torch and cut that up. And there was a cutting, oxyacetylene cutting torch with a cutting head on it, and I'd seen people use one of these, and I figured it out, and that's how I learned to use it. Well, I talked to Dick Bernay, and I got some posts from guys online, and there's more to it than that. I thought you just open the gas, and I had a lot of trouble. You open the gas a little bit, you open the oxygen a little tiny bit, what happens is when you hold the torch and the oh, torch and the spark cup and you make a spark, it's supposed to light with a little pop or a loud pop. One guy said he does it with enough to scare the girls in the shop. So uh, that's probably louder than you need. But anyway, you do that and then you carefully adjust it. What else I found was this is, and I don't, this is, this is a piezoelectric lighter. And it's pretty faint, but if you if you see it, there's a from the white, which is kind of like a spark club spark plug, which grounds in the steel. This creates a flame every time. You can use it either way. Some guys really like these. I had a lot of trouble with these. Part of my problem with these was that I was just opening up the gas, no oxygen, and. As I've learned, you open up the gas a little bit, the oxygen a little bit, and then you have to fill it. You, you, you blow it in or, or let it blow in and fill the cup, and then you hit the spark. Well, that was a good one. Uh, keep it clean. I find that a larger flint, which I know is rare with metals, etc., works better than a shorter one. But that's it. That's something I just learned after 48 years of doing it wrong. So, ain't it an amazing world? But anyway. Some thoughts on spark lighting. This was a, this is a couple of bucks. This is about fifteen. Um, if you need them, as I say, some guys really like them because they spark every time. That is it. Have a good day. Bye.